Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a Mardi Gras wreath because I made some already, put them in my Etsy shop, and they almost immediately sold out. So, I had some purple mesh, I had some green mesh, uh, that's two thirds of the way there from Mardi Gras. So, I'm just going to um, make a purple and green base. I thought about adding this gold, but mm, y'all know how I am with the golds. Like, I love the metallic gold in there, but I hate the, the uh, deco mesh part. So I'm stacking these one on top of another so I can cut them both at the same time. Trimming up that edge because they're always kind of raggedy. And I like to put these at the zero mark. Zero mark, sorry. And I cut mine at 19 only because every time I try to cut at 20, I uh... I end up miscutting and I end up like a piece short so I go for 19 and the way I do this to make sure my cuts stay mostly straight is to line it up and make sure they're straight on top of each other to make sure they're straight on one of the horizontal marks on the bottom of the ruler on the bottom of the mat and then put my blade at 19 and look at 19 on the other side so I'm not trying to stay on the line I'm just trying to drive straight towards where I'm going because when you're driving a car you're not looking at the road in front of you in front of the car you're looking at the car in front of you or the whatever in front of you so if you can try to do that you'll mostly stay straight they're not going to be straight 100% of the time they don't need to be straight but if you need 18 pieces they need to be somewhat of the same size you know what I mean because I've seen a lot of people say oh you know I'm, I don't measure, I'm just going to do like, you know, this, this many, I'm going to pull out a little bit of this, I'm going to pull out a little bit of that, and if that's how you work, that's fine, but I know that to fill the wreath that I have, I need 18 of these pieces. If I don't have 18 of the pieces, it's not going to work right, or I'm going to have to open another roll of mesh. I don't order, rarely do I order more than one roll of mesh. Like, I mean, I'll order 75 rolls of mesh at a time, not 75. I mean, I'll order like 10 rolls of mesh at a time, but they're rarely the same. So I don't have another green like this. I don't have another purple like this. If I cut and I make some long and I make some short and I don't end up with the 18 I need, then I have to wait until I can order more mesh to finish a wreath. And that takes time. That takes money. Uh, I don't mess around with my money. So see, I had a whole extra purple piece, but not a full, not anything I could do with the green piece. So the rolls are never the same either. They're never the same size. It's annoying, but that's just what we're doing. This is my wreath form. It has 18 ties on it. You've seen the video by now on how to wire these. You've seen me do it a hundred times. There's three in each section. One on the inner two rings, two on the outer two rings. And I've done these with purple and green because I want them marked because I'm going to alternate the purple with the green. So the purple pipe cleaners get the purple first, then the green on top, and then the green pipe cleaners get the green first, and then the purple on top. And I'm just doing the um, ruffles, I guess. I, I don't know. I still don't know what they're called. Yeah, this is a border mesh and just a, um, I guess it would be a premium metallic because it's got a lot of metallic in it. And I could have put the gold in there. It's just, I don't, I don't, let me, let me think of how to phrase this so it actually makes sense. The gold that you saw, the border mesh, I like the metallic part. I don't like the poly part, you know, the, like the woven part of it, because it it's not, um, it's not gold, it's like brown, you know? Uh, and I don't know, like if, if I had a gold mesh like this green one that's all metallic, and it was the same color as the border mesh metallic, that would be fine, but... I didn't know which one that was because there's like brown gold, there's bright gold, there's like copper gold, there's red gold, there's 
um, champagne gold. And I think the color that I'm always looking for is a champagne gold because it's, champ it's gold, but it has, it's a cooler gold. You know, I don't want like an orange gold. I don't want a yellow gold. The yellow gold, in my opinion, is the only one that would work for Mardi Gras, really. Like you can, I don't, I don't know where else you would use that because it's so yellow. But yeah, I could have added the gold. I just, I don't know. I added that to another wreath, and I really like the way that one came out. So, no big loss here. I just end up adding a whole bunch of gold stuff on top of this wreath. I don't really know what happened with the the Mardi Gras wreaths that I put in Etsy because one of them sold like immediately. Like the same day I listed it, I got a, I got a notification that it sold, and I was like, okay. And then I had another one that sold like a day later, and I was like, okay, I can't sell a wreath to save my life most of the time, but now these these two wreaths for um holidays that only one state celebrates. I guess Alabama kind of does Mardi Gras too, but, um, and one of them went to like, uh, I want to say Massachusetts. One of them went down here. One of them went to Massachusetts. So I was like, okay. I mean, isn't it really cold there right now? You can have your Mardi Gras wreath out with that snow all over the ground. I love it. So I've been shipping a lot of wreaths, which is good. The more wreaths I ship, the more wreaths I can make. The more videos you get to watch. But I'm actually on a little bit of a uh, wreath making hiatus because I have... I did so much in such a short amount of time that my shoulder and like my bicep on my left arm, I guess because that's my non-dominant hand, arm, whatever you want to call it, it is so sore. I've been like taking Tylenol, using heating pads, using ice, using um, like Tiger Balm, and it's, it's so sore. It feels a little bit better today, like I could probably do something today, but I'm like, maybe I should just take a break, you know, take the weekend off. but. Taking weekends off are very hard for me because there's, like, nothing to do. But maybe I can figure out something to do that's not making a wreath. I really like this green mesh. You know, I was talking about that Halloween mesh I had a while back. It was a premium metallic. It's the same kind of mesh. It just had different colors in it. And then the Mardi Gras mesh I did on the wreath with the tinsel on it. But how I didn't want to cut it because it frayed so bad. This is the exact same mesh. It's just in a solid color. And it didn't really fray at all. I mean, it frayed a little bit, but that's what Deco Mesh does. I mean, you got to expect a little bit of that. I don't know if it's because the ends were contained completely. But, um, yeah, I was like, okay, well, maybe I can cut this as long as I make sure to do the cruffle. So while this is going on, let me take a second to remind you that if you want to buy this wreath, it's down in the description down below, uh, link to it directly. There's also a link to my Etsy if you want to buy any other wreaths. If you want to join us on Patreon, you can check that out. You can follow me on Instagram and what else is down there? I think that's it. But yeah, I'm just getting around to working on Patreon and it's, uh, it's an experience, that's for sure. I feel like I've talked about it like a hundred times. I'm just like, what? What do you? What do you? What do you want me to do to these people? Patreon? They're like, take all their money, and I'm like, I don't want to do that. No, I just want to have like a community, and I want a little bit of money. But I feel weird being like, oh, join Patreon for an exclusive look. Like, no, I like posted my schedule for the month. So you know what videos are coming up and how I keep track of everything and 
I'm gonna post like some pictures and some videos, but mostly I just wanted a place where we could all hang out. You know, we can talk, you can suggest things, we can, you know, give each other feedback. Okay, and see how these are all kind of like, there's a big section of purple, there's a big section of green. I went through and just kind of manipulated those a little bit. Like if there was a big section of purple, I pulled a little bit of green into it. I turned them around a little bit. Um, just to make sure there's no, I guess, blotchiness is what I, uh, I think that's what I call it. Or like patchiness. Here's a big patch of purple. So I pull some of the green through and push some of the purple back. Oh, and this is when I discover that a piece of ribbon right next to me has a join in it. I am so tired of the join, y'all. I mean, that's like eight, eight inches of ribbon I just wasted because it was, it was glued to something else. So now I'm like, okay, I thought I had gold ribbon. I didn't. Uh, I was going to use these little balls. They were more champagne. I think the Mardi Gras gold is a lot brassier. It's a lot um, warmer. So, yeah. Didn't have as much gold as I thought. I had a little bit of ribbon left from everything. And I'm just like, let me just use this up because I don't want a box of Mardi Gras. Like, I'm fine with, the, I'm fine with seven boxes of Christmas. I'm fine with a box of Easter. I just, I don't want a whole box full of Mardi Gras that I'm going to have to store until this time next year. So I'm sorting off on the floor to leave ribbon, six inch loop, six inch tails. And we're making three of them. Because that's what I do now, apparently. So they were both two and a half inch. This is one and a half. Um, this one's actually from Walmart. Two and a half. And then I think I come back with the green again. Just because for some reason I don't like two and a half inch on top. Do I come back with the green? I'm thinking about it. Nope, I don't. Okay. Well, I guess I like two and a half inch on the top. getting into this you know make three bows cover half the wreath I like that better than so many ribbon tails sticking out all over the place this purple ribbon was giving me attitude I don't know who she thought she was I don't know who she thought she was dealing with but it's actually my fault because uh I still haven't found my my peg for the spool holder so the ribbon's just kind of all crazy all the time And I think I like this mostly because it always takes me so long to put the ribbon tails in. And the less I have to do, the better. And I'm finding if you take these, put the pipe cleaner in, Pull it down like into your fist before you start tightening it. It just make it just the the bow like fluffs itself. I've been doing this for a long time and I'm still like learning learning new things. Like, oh, if I strangle this bow, it looks a lot better than if I'm just kinda like gentle with it. Because I don't want to hurt its feelings. And I'm just like, okay, choke the life out of the bow and then it'll fluff right up. And I put my thumb, when I, I pull it down into my fist, and then I put my thumbnail right at the base, as tight as I can get it, and that's when I turn the bow. So, it's pulled down, it's extra tight, 
it fluffs itself up pretty much, um, and it's pretty much good to go. Now I'm gonna wire these on. I thought those, those green, um, those green ribbons look so long. I'm just spreading these out enough so where um, the tails from one bow meet the loops of the other bow, pretty much. And it would not be one of my race if I was not going to struggle a little bit with trying to get the, uh, the bows on there. Okay, this is a floor to lay from Walmart. It needed to be bigger. In retrospect, it needed to be bigger. Retrospect. Did I say retrospect? I'm using my needle to just put some holes in here and then I'm gonna glue in some pipe cleaners. I mean, y'all know I'm a big fan of gluing things into the wreath, but this was like, there was no way to do it because it was so, it was a lot of surface area. This is a giant Christmas ball. This is from like, like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, Dollar General, something like that. It's kind of furry. And I'm gonna get my floor delete in here. And there's no sign in this. There's no extra ribbon tails. I don't think. I don't think there's any extra ribbon tails. I just edited the long version of this video yesterday, and I don't remember. I'm guessing there are no ribbon tails because I'm cutting off all the uh, pipe cleaners. I need to put straight pins on my list because I don't have any and all my ribbons are just like all over the place, unwinding themselves, being belligerent. rose gold tree I don't know what I was thinking because these are so yellow but they all had like hooks in them like I'm taking the hooks out as I'm gluing them in I think I should just like hang out and do nothing today or do something. These are from um, Walmart. This one is being glued in upside down. So the cap part that I just pulled off is sticking up instead of sticking into the wreath. But I just glue a ribbon over it later because that's how you solve problems, I guess. I think the last thing I'm going to do is take some ornaments from my Mardi Gras pack of ornaments. Take the rest of the gold ones out of there. There's only four. Okay. And I'm just going to dot these around just to give it a little bit more gold. And I do go back after this video is over, after I've taken, I don't know if it's before or after I've taken the pictures, but. There's another video on Patreon of me finishing this wreath because I realized that I had two Mardi Gras picks that I bought from Craft Outlet and didn't use. So it's a quick minute, it's a quick, you know, five, ten minute video of me going back and just adding um, the pick. I'm 
because I finished this one and then I went back and I was like, well, wait, let me let me add this. And then I was like, well, if I'm adding this, let me film it and I'll shove it on Patreon. And all these tails need to be cut, but I'm not the one. So you can see the little, they're like velvet and glitter balls. They're just kind of in there. So thanks for watching. Uh, you want to buy this? It's down below. Etsy store is down below. Patreon's down below. If you like this video, comment, like it, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.